morning, after evening people. So I'm making a video today that I didn't really didn't want to have to make. Now, all my bees are dead. I don't fully know why yet. I'm going to open the hive up, show you inside, and we're going to try and do a bit of an autopsy and find out why. Now, 25% of colonies of bees don't make it through winter. I just never thought that my colony would be part of that statistic. Unfortunately, it is. It's not the end of beekeeping for me. I am going to buy a nucleus of bees in the spring, probably from Black Mountain Honey, Lawrence over there. Um, so we'll be doing beekeeping again this year. So let's go outside, I'm going to open the hive up and we're going to try and work out what's gone wrong. It feels quite strange now being at the hive with no bee suit on. So, I think I can rule out royal mite because I did a Apivar mite treatment that I removed in December. The only thing I can really think of is starvation. Now, under that inspection, the bees didn't have much, fun, much stores. But I fed them fondant. I fed them a kilo block of fondant, which they ate. I then stuck another half a kilo of fondant on, which you can see some of that fondant still remaining. So I can't see why they would have starved when they've got fondant right there. But I have heard of bee colonies starving when there's food right there because they move along to frames further away from where the stores are and there's food right there but they don't see it so that's a possibility so I had a look in a couple of weeks ago I could see bees around that fondant eating it and they've been walking past a couple of days and noticed very little or no activity in the hive, outside the hive when the sun's been out, which is strange. So I had a look in, and lo and behold, this has happened. I'm thinking potentially maybe a mouse has got in. Another cause for bees dying can be damp. We have had a lot of wet weather, but I don't think that too much damp would have got in here. But I expect we're going to see. Okay, yeah, this is terrible. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Whole colony of bees are just dead in the bottom of the hive. I'm going to show you. Look, all the bees are just dead in the bottom of the hive there. There's a couple still moving, but not many. We don't know what's happened. I don't know if a mouse has got in or something. I can see what looks like spiders webs in the corner there. Spiders have got in. I don't know, but you can see hundreds of dead bees. Now I realise they had little to no stores, but I fed them. I gave them fondant, and as you can see, they've still got fondant. So I don't understand. I can't see that they've starved because they had fondant right there. And the fondant was right here and this is where the cluster of bees was and you can see this is where the dead bees are so the fondant was literally right above the cluster so I really don't know what's gone wrong I 
can't see it being disease. Aha! Uh -huh. Right, let me show you something. That corner there, there's slugs. Slugs have got in here. If slugs can kill bees or not, I don't know. Never heard of that. You can also see there's a lot of spider web again. I can't see it being mice because I do use an underfloor entrance, anti robbing entrance. Basically, there's one bee space, 8mm gap for the bees to go in and out. So I can't see a mouse getting in, but somehow, look, slugs have got in there. I'll do a bit of googling and find out if slugs can have a detrimental effect and kill a hive. And ants. Ants in there too. I think potentially damp has got into this hive. You can see this is starting to go a bit mouldy. This comb. I'm going to pick the camera up and show you again. There's more slugs. And there's ants or small flies. Knocking about. Show you. See, slug, 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 and don't know if you can see on the camera these little flies knocking about. So I don't know. I don't know what to blame that on. I'm going to rule out starvation because as you can see that fondant right there where all the dead bees are, where the cluster of bees was when they were alive right where the fondant is. I think it's damp. I think somehow damp has got into the hive. You can see this frame as well. Looks like it's starting to get slightly mouldy. There's slugs in there. Slugs like damp spaces. I think probably damp has got in there. That's the conclusion I've come to. You can see there some slug trails on that frame. There's no signs of disease. Um, as you can see by the amount of dead bees in the bottom of that hive, they were quite a strong colony as well, overwintering. So unfortunately, my only colony is dead. I am going to order a nuka bees and hopefully take some kind of preventative measures next year. I mean they overwintered fine last year, I don't know how damp's got in there. Maybe it's those slugs or a combination. I don't know. But I'll do a bit of googling, a bit of research and we'll see. But anyway, like I say, I will pick up a, a, a nucleus of bees, install those. If you want to follow me through this year's beekeeping seasoning and gardening, just hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a better day than I have.